what's up guys I thought I would uh, go ahead and make a video making some of these characters that we're trying to work on so um, I've made a list of some of the traits that I thought I might be trying to work towards and I'm just gonna sketch I might speed up this video I'm not sure but let's see what happens The first thing I'm going to do is probably just start with the the tropes that I have in my head of what a male elf might look like. Now I'm going to try not to zoom in at all. Um, because, like I said, these are just supposed to be quick sketches, and it's really easy to zoom in too much. So I have this list of traits here uh, that I'm going to try and keep looking at as I'm sketching these. I already like he has a great big waist uh like almost like a girdle of sorts maybe uh some sort of loin cloth piece there One of the traits I have on here is that I want him to be very slender and angular because I'm going for sort of a mischievous character. So rather than clenching his fists like one might do if they were a soldier, his hands are going to be open. See, his hand's a little bit bigger right there than this hand, uh, but it really doesn't matter. I'm not really concerned with everything being super accurate at this point. I want to get some ideas. And I actually am still working kind of stiff. Uh, I'm probably going to really get warmed up uh, as I get into the second or third one. Um, because even I, when I start sometimes, kind of get into the habit of, uh, overthinking the details. So, if you find yourself doing that, uh, just kind of stop and take a deep breath, back up a little bit, and uh, say, okay, I just need the main points here. Maybe he's got gloves on as well. I like to shade in uh, and think about areas of dark and light. Um, just to sort of help start to think about how it's going to look graphically. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go over here. I'm going to start a new one now. Um, and... I'm going to provide myself uh, a little bit of guidance by using this one, but for the most part, I'm going to sketch right over the t a, t a new one and sketch really lightly to try and create my underdrawing and then start uh, going over it a little bit heavier with my ideas. I'm going to try and go a little bit faster this time uh, so that I'm, I'm working a little bit more loosely. Okay, um, let me set this up right. Okay, so I'm going to put in a really light circle there. I do have this on pressure sensitive. Okay, um, 
This time I'm going to angle his face just a little bit more. Making sure you can see that. You might not see a whole lot at first. Um, so I'm going to try and sketch a little bit bigger, a little bit softer touch. So like I said, I'm thinking about making him slender. So I want to exaggerate it at first. Uh, it's always a good idea to go extreme. Peter here. I'm sort of using this as a guideline to see you know, where my main parts are going to go. Let's see. Yeah, already, before I've even gotten very far, he, he has that sort of angular look there. Yeah, and I'm sketching really, uh, really loose here. Letting the ideas flow. Uh, maybe he's got I'm going to start sketching in some of the details. So I'm thinking about right now the idea that I want to have him be angular and jaggy because I don't want him to necessarily be evil, but someone you don't know if they're good or bad. Now I'm going to take my pencil, make it just a little bit smaller, and do a little bit of cleanup. Let's see. Uh, what should we do for his clothing? Let's see. We want to go some more V patterns. So maybe something like this, and then go. So much like, kind of, hey Sam. Much like kind of like comic book penciling, uh, I'm gonna start going over these lines a little heavier now, just to sort of make out where they are. Still keeping it loose, but maybe adding in a couple of cool little details here and there. Hey, buddy. All right. I think I'll probably leave that there. Sam, you're right in the way. Oh. Nope. You're being really aggressive about wanting to be on my lap today. What's that all about? You need to quit. All right, let's do another one. I don't know how long that one took me. All right, let's see if we can do this one a little bit faster than we did the last one. All right. So one of the things I did on my pen here is I turned down uh, the pressure sensitivity. 
because I want to just um, really be loose uh, and and really have it leave a good mark. Um, so. All right, so right now I'm thinking about some sort of fur coat, uh, thinking about the body. Again, I'm trying to focus on keeping him uh, kind of thin, so. I'm thinking about him being uh, a bit of a, a rogue character. So I want him to be fairly mobile. Not overly adorned like maybe this guy is. Um, maybe get this little the boot. Now, if I was drawing this traditionally, uh, I would probably be rotating the, the paper a bit more, so I'm probably going to start doing that. Uh, first, I thought that might be distracting for you guys, but... like tethered or just like worn leather down here. He's got some pouches hanging off of a belt. Dark boots, which are almost always dark. You can think about that when you go to decide what to start filling in. Okay, so I'm going to grab that one and move it over a little bit. I want to use up all my room. All right, let's do another one. That one went a lot faster. So you can see things are starting to get uh, warmed up. Let's do another one. Um, <coughs> so, like I said, I've got um, someone who's kind of mischievous. Um, someone who's Kind of a rogue character. Uh, I was thinking uh, when I did this with, that maybe they uh, came from the cold, uh, kind of Arctic, so uh, maybe lots of padding, lots of fur. Um, so let's try that again. Um, all right, let's, let's change it up. Let's have them face the other directions. Be surprised what that can do for you sometimes. You see how here I'm really starting to loosen up now. Like I said, I knew it was going to take me uh, a little while, but now I'm starting to, to feel a lot looser. Excuse me. Maybe he's got like a high collar here.
I'm gonna do what I call uh, the floating hands. I'll draw the, the shoulder and the, the upper arm, and then I'll just sort of draw the the hand by itself, and then put in the arm where it needs to go, the forearm. So since he's casting this direction, turn his head a little bit too. There we go. Here's up this way. Maybe his hair is cascading on his shoulder a little bit. Have a cool look. I'm gonna angle these down just a little bit more. Gonna give him this uh, big old WWE style Conan belt. of some kind comes down here not like a vest coat maybe he's got a little dagger in his hand something kind of jaggy and crazy looking all right, so I think this a little something. I think I might have a couple more little trinkets going off of here because you know he is a is a rogue. So maybe he's got like I'm trying to think how a bow might sit in that direction. Uh, There we go. I'll strap this across. All right, moving on. So we did two. Let's see how long that took. All right, that took uh, about six minutes each. So I'm going to do two more and see if I can go a little bit faster yet. Okay. Um, so. hand thing again. Same thing over. You get me in trouble right there, buddy? I'm trying to keep my strokes like just really loose. Um, controlled though. I'm going to go through and start cutting in some detail. So, ash here, maybe just 
goods hanging off of his bag. Like goodies here. Um, uh, I can tell how much time I've, has passed. I'm trying to see if I managed to put that down. No, oh, just draw faster. That's the answer. Okay, moving on to the next one. You can always come back and detail that later. Let's see. This one I want to go for a little bit of a band of bows and some. Ridiculous shoulder pad. I want this thin body. And out of these thin legs here. Evil, evil grin. Get his hair going here. Pretty big, huge shoulders. One of the things I'm starting to incorporate here that I really uh, don't expect you to get into for another week or two is uh, I'm starting to include some gesture pose. Normally, when you're uh, first designing a character, you don't want to get into that too much uh, just because you can overdo it and have something that's a really dynamic and cool looking pose that really expresses the uh, character a lot, but then you also can't see uh, any of the details because of the pose. It's so uh, dynamic. So, uh, I try to stick with poses that um, show a little bit of expression, but are also um, still fairly straight standing and showing a lot of design. All right, not sure I like that that much, but it's okay. Just gonna get those ideas out of your head. Uh, all right, I think I want to make that seem a little bit more like a fur shoulder instead of a businessman's coat. I want to look now. Get a little bit more biking going on here. I think I want to make this shards again, a little wispy sort of shreds of a cloak. Gives it a little bit more of that out in the wild kind of look. It's too clean cut. Starts to look like a business coat. All right, let's get this guy some belts. Give me a bunch of belts. Almost like something a little, a little goth. Maybe now he needs sword. All right, quick, quick, quick ideas. And the the more you go, the faster it gets, and the more uh, you start getting loose and sketchy. Um, and that's kind of what you're after. Okay, I think I'll stop there for now. Um, but you can see here, I'll zoom in. Now, keep in mind, I was only working at 50% uh, uh, this whole time. Uh, so I can actually zoom in up to 100% now. And if I wanted to, I could go in here and uh, turn off my transparency and start detailing a little bit uh, really easily. 
Um, do that for just a second or two here. Feel like I still have transparency on. Beautiful. There we go. All right. So now I'm using something more akin to like an ink pen. Uh, so it's going to get uh, a line that's very strong every time I make a stroke. So I always jump right into the face. And I'm still trying to keep fairly loose with it. So if I do make a mistake, I'm probably just going to you know, go with it. But I think he's got some fur on the end. Throw it in some last minute details. Now you don't have to do this, uh, this last minute detail part, but I just wanted to show you that by not zooming in uh, on the digital version and working at that size that is, you know, eight and a half by 11, you still have a lot of room to go in here and now add a lot of cool details. Um, if you're drawing it traditionally, um, and you maybe you printed out the, the template here that I have, um, then you could scan that in, um, whether you know now or, or later on. And scan, if you scan it in at 300 DPI, uh, you're going to be more than able to uh, draw in these details like this. Not really sure. This guy going here. This guy looks a little bit more uh, like some sort of dungeon master, to be honest with you. That's all right, though. Put in some apes. Something that's kind of imposing. One of very uh, jaggy, like flame-like shapes. Just add a little something, something. Okay, so that's my point: is that you can get in there and you can detail stuff if you wanted to, uh, uh, but don't jump in there doing those details, you know, right away. Uh, just work at this this level here okay uh, hopefully you found that helpful um, and if you want to see me do more stuff like this then uh, be sure and, and let me know uh, or leave a comment all right thanks